just moving on to security sensor so just a bit around security center really um so there is a free tier of security center which provides basic recommendations but you can also upgrade to the standard tier um, which will cost per resource um, but it's worth mentioning that you can only enable it on the subscription for all of the resources within there now, some resources are free um, some resources aren't such as like web apps um, and virtual machines so if you do upgrade to the standard tier just be aware that you'll be paying for the whole subscription you can't chop and choose different resources that, that are on the standard tier and some are on the free tier um, so security center will recommend um, or give you recommendations to improve your security so you know there's, there's that much stuff in azure that is very easy to forget about you know maybe you've left a public ip address where you've been testing on a virtual machine or you've left um, you know a port to to rdp onto a virtual machine open and it's also easy to forget about what you've done as well so it will give you recommendations uh, in order to fix them and, and obviously you can then improve your secure score so um, you know, when you first in, uh, deploy your environment, there may be quite a lot of recommendations, but then you can work through them and you know keep improving the security of your environment. Um, and you know, the security center standards as well will give you uh, additional benefits. So one of them being just in time access. So um, you obviously don't want to leave your virtual machines running your applications open for people to RDP and remote into all of the time. So what you can do is use just in time access. And what that basically does is you can set policies to control access to them virtual machines um, and, and what security center and just in time will do is it will change it will change the network security group rules for you um, and then what you can do then is set a time period so you know uh, bob can have access to the virtual machine for two hours but then it must you know you can't have any longer than that so then the, the nsg rule would then disappear and the access will be blocked again and you can have like um, approval gates and and um, you know who should be approving access to what virtual machine and things like that so um, yeah really really good way if you're not using security center at least use it for the free tier um, you know just to take advantage of the recommendations and uh, you know depending on your environment it, it would also be worth going to the standard tier as well to get them extra um, benefits